The Tongass National Forest has a long logging history that people are still transitioning from and the environment's still transitioning from. So there's a real history of you know, human use that has changed the ecology and changed the way the forest structure is and grows. We've learned a lot about the forest, the timber stands, about their ecology, their succession, their replacement rate, some of the political hot potato issues like who owns the forest, how are decisions made about old growth versus young growth. We are getting the data from the trees themselves, not reading it in a textbook, learning the plant names, learning how to measure trees, and the whole scientific process. In the heyday, they were pulling these huge trees out of the Tongass, and a lot of clear cutting occurred, and now there just isn't the same kind of activity. So there's a transition to, you know, what do we do with the second growth? And what is, what is the other economic benefits coming into this community, whether it's recreation or other uses?